in Tel Aviv, which means welcome to Tel Aviv, the city of the sun. I was born in Jerusalem. When I was seven, I moved to Mevaseret, which is like the village next to Jerusalem. And then when I was like 23, I moved to Tel Aviv, like all of the artists in Israel. When I grew up, I was really like a Jerusalem girl. Like I was really proud of being from Jerusalem and I didn't really relate to Tel Aviv. And I think like once I've decided to open myself to that experience, that it's for me so different than what I, what I grew up on. Jerusalem is really intense in a way. It's like lots of different cultures and religious people and Arab people and Jewish people and it's really, really intense. Now we are at the Western Wall uh, in the old city of Jerusalem, which is, uh, the Western Wall is like the holiest place in Jerusalem and you know, all of the different uh, religions come here and it's super uh, sacred and the story is that it was like the, the it's like the leftover of the <laughs> of the sacred temple that's a interesting place to see and it's really it looks you know it's just I've never seen anything like that anywhere. it's only like 30 minutes away and yet it's just so different For me, walking like that, wearing like something that is with no sleeves, it was weird for me. I'm not religious at all, but I mean, it's just not, it wasn't so common like in my, in the area where I live. Tel Aviv is like, you know, it's a beach city. It's like really chill. There's lots of culture going on. I'm not a party animal, as you say. I usually spend my time in the evening just working on music. I'm a nerd at the end of the day. Uh, I'm trying not to look like it, but I am. I really love Diego San, which is a really cool and new restaurant here in Tel Aviv. It kind of reminds me of Berlin and like the cool vibe of, I don't know, Kreuzberg. And I also really like Asian food, so that's the main reason I enjoy it. Right now we are in um, Ala Rampa, that's the name of the bar, restaurant. It's uh, kind of like right next to Florentine neighborhood, which is really close to where I live. And I think when I'm not in the studio, I'm always here. Noah uh, and I are really close friends for like two or three years. We met when she wanted to uh, take photos of me for her art school project. And we have like a really good connection because I feel like we are really similar in a lot of things. I think Tel Aviv is amazing for artists. I mean, we don't really get a lot of support from the government and stuff, but it's really supportive, like the cultural vibe. Like it's, you're just surrounded with tons of artists all the time and it's really inspiring and you just get tons of ideas from other artists. So yeah, I feel like it's a really good like environment. And this is my studio. This is where I spend most of the time, most of my life actually. And this is where it all happens. And it's not fancy in any way. It's pretty simple and there's not a lot of gear and stuff, but I don't know why, but this place just gives me so much, so much inspiration and I feel really good here. I don't know, maybe it's like, just because it's like the complete opposite of where I live. We are now right next to my studio. It's called Hayalkon River. Um, and it's like a really huge tunnel and I just, like spending time here like when I work in my studio after two hours I just have to take a break and breathe and relax so I each time I just come here I just sit by the water sometimes I even go to sleep for like I don't know half an hour just to relax and then I go back and I'm you know fresh <laughs>
which means <laughs> thanks for coming uh, for a visit in Tel Aviv. I had the most amazing time. And um, feel free to come to Tel Aviv and hang out in the sun and uh, enjoy the culture. Oh,